Scary stuff. Fox News reports North Korea testing missiles outfitted with anthrax-carrying warheads. Ambassador John Bolton joins us now. How should America, President Trump, respond to this? Well, we've known for some time that North Korea has extensive uh, stockpiles of chemical weapons. We've long believed they've had a biological weapons program as well. These are weapons particularly that threaten South Korea uh, in the near term. You know, the, the thing to worry about about missiles that are capable of hitting targets in the United States is that they'll carry nuclear warheads. It, it has always been a problem for chemical and biological weapons uh, not to destroy the chemical or biological agent by the force of the blast that occurs when the warhead or the artillery shell lands at its target. That's why in modern technology people look at uh, drones or crop sprayers or building air conditioning systems to spread chemical or biological weapons. But continued North Korean emphasis on hitting the United States with ballistic missiles, that is a big problem, and it, well, they're getting closer to the capability. Well, at what point do we shoot one down? If they continue with these test launches, when do we shoot one down? Well, I think the president uh, shouldn't be waiting around for that, actually. I think we're very close to a binary decision here. Either we leave North Korea with this ballistic missile capability and the possibility of uh, putting a nuclear warhead under the nose cone, uh, or we take preemptive military action. Neither, neither of these alternatives is very attractive. Nope, nobody wants to see this. But the question is, do you want the American people to be held hostage by this bizarre regime in North Korea yep. or the one in Iran while we're on the subject? It's the question we face, and it has to be answered, and probably answered fairly soon. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Much obliged thank to you. Thank you, Stuart.